Hello everyone, my name is Ajay and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna share my BRC interview experience. BRC generally shortlist candidates for interview in the ratio of 1 is to 20. That means if there are 25 vacancies, they will shortlist around 500 candidates. Also for each specialization, there will be multiple interview panels. In this video, I'm gonna discuss the questions that I was asked. I'm not gonna discuss the detailed solutions because the approach might differ from person to person. Without any delay, let's get started. In BARC, they'll ask our favorite subjects and we have to tell five favorite subjects. In my case, I have mentioned analog circuits, digital circuits, control systems and EDC in the same order. But questions did not come from EDC, but the other three subjects. Mostly questions were design based. Now I'll share the questions that I was asked. In interviews, in most of the cases, our next question would depend on the answer for our current question. So don't use any terms if you are really not sure about it. This was my first question. How do you find the time period for a given pulse signal? Basically, this is an application of a counter. So you can search in the internet also. There are multiple solutions available for this particular question. My second question was to draw the timing diagram for a parallel input serial output shift register. I know this parallel input serial output shift register where we use a multiplexer, but I have never come across this timing diagram thing. So I was not able to perform this in interview. And my next question was how to implement a non-linear control system. Whatever we study in GATE or ESC syllabus, those are all linear control systems. But I was asked to implement a non-linear control system. And what are the assumptions that are required to design a non-linear control system? So I could not answer this question as well. And my next question in control system was to design a pH control system. pH is nothing but negative logarithmic of hydrogen potential. Uh, I have no idea how to design this uh, pH control system. At this point, I thought I should not have told control system as my favorite subject because I was hardly able to attempt any question in control system and that was giving a bad impression. And the next question was, can we reduce steady state error without increasing the type of a system? This was a bit understandable and we can do this. And the next question is from digital circuits, TTL output versus input graph. And what is the purpose of diode in TTL? The purpose of diode in TTL is to make sure that if one transistor is on, the other transistor should go off. And they have asked me certain questions on PID controller also. I could not recollect it exactly. And also they have asked me practical examples of nonlinear control systems. So if at all you are telling control systems as your favorite subject, go through nonlinear control systems also because they might ask a lot of questions on this as well. And coming to analog circuits, they have asked me to explain about the input and output stages of op-amp. Generally, there are four stages in the op-amp internal circuit, right? So they have asked me to explain input and output stages. Next question is from analog circuits. Um, they have asked me to explain virtual ground and also to prove it. So if you are preparing for BRC interview, be thorough with your basics and also practice some design based questions. There are a lot of questions that are available in Quora. So be prepared with those questions and practice them before going to interview so that if the same question comes in the interview you might be at an advantage with this i'm ending this video if you found this video helpful please give it a like share it with your friends also don't forget to join my telegram channel where i'll post exam related updates and job notifications even if you don't do any of these i thank you for watching this video till now take care and i'll see you all in the next video